Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to cut out parts of a video. So let's say you filmed a clip and there's a bit of that clip that you want to remove from the middle. You want to slice it in two areas and take out the bit from the middle and put the two remaining clips back together. This is exactly what I'm going to be showing you right now. So the tool we're going to be using is called Veed, so you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and click on the first link. If not, I'm going to be putting the links in the description below as usual. So once you're in Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free, and if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button in the top left. Now we're in Veed's video editor, we need to upload our clip and to do this we're just going to click on the upload video button, select our clip and click on open. So now as we can see I've got some lovely stock footage of some pasta imported into Veed's video editor. I'm just playing it through here so you can see what the clip is like and I actually want to remove the part where the water is dripping from the pan lid back into the pan. So to do this it's very simple. I'm going to pause it at a point where I want to split the video. So I'm going to pause it about here. Now what I'm going to do is actually use the split button right here. So I click it and as we can see it's now split the video. So what I'm going to do now is bring the playhead back to the beginning area where it starts dripping into the pan and instead of clicking the split button, so I could click the split button but instead I can also select the clip and then just hit S on my keyboard and as we can see the clip has also been split again here. So now what I can do is select the clip in the middle that I want to remove where the water is dripping back into the pan and I just need to click the delete key on my keyboard or I can right click and then click delete here. So as we can see I've now deleted the clip from the middle. What I need to make sure I do however is bring back the end clip to stick next to the first part of the video. So now it will play seamlessly all the way through. What I can do as well if I feel like I haven't taken out enough or I've trimmed off too much. For an example, I can either select either clip and then just click on this handle to either trim off some more or if I want to add a bit more back, I can drag it out and then trim it the other direction. So I'm basically adding on instead of trimming. So I just drag it in the other direction. However, I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm just going to drag it back and then place the clip side by side. And then once you're happy with how you have cut out parts of your video, you can click on the download button in the top right and then Veed actually starts to render your video and then once it's finished rendering, you can download it. So as we can see right now, it's just finished and if we take a look, it skips past the part where all the water is dripping off the pan lid into the pan and it's only now five seconds long. As you can see, you can see the transition right there. So to download it, we just click this download button right here and as we can see, our project has been downloaded. And that is how to cut out parts of a video. If you have any questions about how to cut out parts of a video online, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And with that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.